My name is Dylan Steele. I'm from Southwest Detroit, Trio section to be exact. I'm an artist. I'm really a jack of all trades. I paint, draw, charcoal, model, a little bit of everything. What got me started with art with, was being exposed to it early in in school, like going to school in the burbs and stuff, just being exposed to different things. I wanna say senior year of high school is when I really got, got it cracking for real. I had injured my back, so I wasn't doing as much athletic stuff. So I kind of learned how to express myself in a, in a different manner. Being, being black and being an artist, first of all, let's talk about like, like the space that I started at. I started in, in a suburban area, like white schools and stuff. So I was pretty much the only black, so one of the only blacks doing it. So like being black, it, it came with a different type of pressure where like you had to represent for your people in a sense. And as I started learning more about like history, black history, art history, you realize that like, there's a lot of black talent in that, in this field. So, I mean, me for me personally being black, I just, you know, put on for my people in Southwest, put on for my family, put on for myself, you know what I'm saying? So like, that's already like representing the whole black thing. Being from the hood, it's like, it's, it was different for me. It was like kind of reverse learning. Like, cause in the hood, it's like you start off in the street, you do street art. I started off in the classroom, so I had to kind of reverse it. So like being from the hood, it, it's just like, everybody know you for this one thing. So I kind of just like, had to keep topping myself and, and doing my best work. But as far as the values in my work, yeah, uh, I come, I'm, I'm cut from one of the, you know, the biggest, the biggest gangs from Detroit, you know what I'm saying? So I, I took a different approach with my, where I express myself. So it's like all my values is in my work. I represent all those people that inspired me from the gang culture, from the rap culture. It's all throughout my work is, you know, I, I do a lot of portraits and stuff, so they represent it as well because they hold the same values. Yeah, I don't really like look at it like that because when you go into different spaces, when you're in a, like a, a college a, a college setting or you in a, a gallery setting, it's just your name, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, who's to say he's black or whatever? You know, we look at these famous pictures and we don't know who really painted them. So like, it's about knowing where the like expression come from versus just being black like but how I feel about it is like you know it's, a, it's just another way that I can express myself versus how they want me to express myself how, how I grew up it, it hasn't really affected my art like I got I got baby pictures of me painting in like preschool the young adolescence like probably like around 18 19 is where I started realizing my creativity for real and I took a lot of pain like that's where it all root from so like I took a lot of the pain that I was going through and put it into my work. And I got, I guess I can say like growing up, the way I grew up, it kind of just inspired me to keep doing positive shit with it. Like it's not really no, no concrete answer on how I grew up that affected my work. My end goal with art, I mean, really, it's, it's still my goal now is just to inspire people to do, you know, more positive things and to express themselves. Cause we grew up where, you know, see the rap or, you know what I'm saying? Play basketball, play football. It's kind of like the main stigmas and nobody really, it's, it's art too, but it's, it's graffiti street art, not downplaying that, but it's just like, it's ways that, it's different ways that you can express yourself. So my end goal is just really to inspire people. Just know that you really want to do this. Like it take a lot of practice, a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of fuck ups to really, you know what I'm saying? Get stuff right. And I'm still in those stages where I'm still learning stuff and I'm still trying to figure things out without infrastructure and with infrastructure. So uh, for beginners is really just be patient with yourself, be patient with whatever you're trying to uh, portray. And that's pretty much it. And keep grinding, like that's all you really can do is just keep working. It's a, it's a controversy, it's a controversial like feel where like wherever you drop, whatever you drop, somebody gonna have something to say. Um, I never really worried too much 
because like I get appreciation from the hood, from my family and from the gram. Like I get my, you know, my appreciation for what I do and I put it out because that's how I felt at the moment. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, I, I don't really worry too much. I take my time with it and I, I drop when I want to drop what I want to drop. So it's like, it's not really too many worries about that. Right now, I'm, I'm really, I'm really big on just like the home and like Southwest related shit. So like I got this piece, this my pops, you know what I'm saying? He a legend from the hood. He did his stuff out here. He survived the game, did what he had to do. It's one of the old schools that they took from him uh, back in the day when he was locked up and shit. You know, he's just a legend. Like, been doing wires, been doing, like, this is one of those nostalgic classic photos that I wanted to reiterate and paint for him. Um, the biggest legends, um, Uncle T and my Uncle Meech, I, I portrayed them as well. They, uh, they pretty much laid down the whole belief system for us and what to believe in as far as when we surviving out here, you know, as far as loyalty and, and brotherhood and all that, and just cherishing your family, protecting your family. It's the same code that we honor. It's kind of, it's like one of my other big pieces that I uh, put a lot of time into, you know, Deaf, sign, deaf, silent, and blind. It's kind of like the street code. That pretty much, if you're really doing stuff out here, that's what you live by. Um, it's the gang sign, BMF right here, and this loyalty in Japanese. Where that's what we represent around here. And it's just you know abstract in the back. I kind of got my flow on that from. Um, I was inspired by their. Uh, I want to say their expressionist artist from Germany. They uh they master like this whole abstract like scheme and I was studying it. I I like the flow. It, it helped me do some like so I don't gotta think too hard about stuff. I'm I'm more inspired by like rappers and, and gang like the leaders of gangs and stuff and political activists and shit like Stokely Carmichael, Huey P. Newton. Like I'm that's that type of stuff get me going for my art. Like as of lately, I've been more like whatever resonate with me I, I, that's what style i'm because i got like different flows i can make it like look really realistic or i can do some abstract i know color theory so i can play with colors to manipulate the eye but like as of now i kind of just um i mix i mix like abstract with realism so that subconsciously i can feed my brain when i'm on the canvas and then consciously I can make it where it's like, it look real, you know what I'm saying? See, I made this back in December. You know, it's a crazy time right now, especially being black and being somewhat politically uh, sound and, and know what's going on. It's just like, this piece was for solidarity. Um, it's a lot of people, it's a lot of ways that, that black men get represented in culture. And then this fits, is one of those things, you know, you riding down the street, you see one of the homies or you see one of the old heads and you just, you know, you pump it up. And it's like, it's subconscious to us because we always do it. And then on the outside looking in, you know, everybody think it's like black power, this and that. Like, of course it is, but it's amongst us, it's more of like, a, um, you know, it's a communication thing. And when, when you see it, the first thing you think of is like the Black Panthers or black power, the people that, popularize it so I kind of just wanted to like remake that I used um an image I seen from um it's like a like a 1960 magazine and it's, uh, it's the same fist I'm like I'm, I'm just gonna reiterate that uh, I started off modeling with one of the homies from like the neighborhood down the street he had a, a brand called uh, V Stella Rex and I kind of would just hop in and you know wear the street wear and pose I want me to pose do what he want me to do then I ventured off, you know, I got started with you, got started shooting with you and stuff. And that's pretty much been my, my modeling experience. I try not to call myself a model, but it's like 
part of the art. Uh, yeah, I enjoy it. I, I think I want to venture off towards like streetwear and just keep doing like black on like streetwear and stuff. But, you know, I really don't consider myself a model. So I just kind of like take it for what it is and, and do it as I go. You know what I'm saying? Talk it's a lot to talk about, bro. That's why this should be hard, bro. I did this before and like, cause it, it'd be hard, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, nah, I'm good. I just like to let the work speak for itself. And I kind of said what I had to say. I don't really got nothing too crazy to say. I'm just be chilling. I don't got nothing to say. <laughs> so, yeah, so I knew he was about to do that, like, but shit, like, I feel like we hit everything for the most part.